Hey y'all. Okay, so today we're talking about the five biggest mistakes women make when healing their diastasis, okay? Now I did this the other, well, a couple weeks back or a few weeks back, but this is such an issue with women and I talk to women every day about their diastasis that I think, okay, we need to go over this again so I can help you. Now, I'm just going into my Facebook group real quick to share this video. So if you, uh, hey Bridget, how are you? So, okay, so I'm going to share um, this real quick. And um, hang on one second. Okay. All right, so, there are so many mistakes that I do see women women making all the time with healing their diastasis. So well, I'm just going to kind of go in order from some things that I see. Hey, I'm so glad you're here. And so the number one, one of the things that I see all the time is, oh, and also you can download a, a PDF of this. So you just always kind of have it on hand. I put the link in the description above so you just kind of know. Am I making this mistake? Because I really think you need to kind of look over these things to um, just to assess yourself. So this is one that I see constantly and I think it just drives me crazy um, because I don't just go in there and always type the answers. But on Facebook groups or in mommy groups on Facebook, I see people saying, um, OK, I have this issue. How do you heal diastasis? They're just asking in a Facebook group. And I know. When you find out you have this, it's kind of like you almost feel like a hopeless situation from a lot of things that you hear about online, okay? And then you may be confused, so you go there. But the problem is, is I see women answering questions with, oh, you can use this tummy cream, or you can use this magic wrap thing, or you can take some supplements. How about doing yoga and Pilates, crunches and planks? Um, I've even had clients that their doctors have told them to just to do sit-ups or crunches. So you don't really want to do those things, okay, because um, even sprinting right off the bat. Because it's not that you can't do these things, but if you go and do those things right now, you can actually make it worse. If you don't know how to correct this and you don't know how to start healing it, it can create all kinds of issues. So just make sure that you're asking an expert or somebody that's got a great track record that's helped women heal diastasis on how to do this because this is a problem. This is a true problem and you don't just need a band-aid. You need a, a, a solution and there is a solution. So um, it, in, in the minute I'll go down and kind of talk to this uh, on that a little bit more, but just know that some of those things can be dangerous because in yoga you can put you can get into positions that can flare you and open it more. So so many moms are having babies and they go into doing what they used to do and they're harming themselves more. So when they hear these things like okay I can do yoga and I can do Pilates and I can do sprinting, they go out and take somebody's advice, um, and then they end up making it worse. So just be careful of that. So just when you're trying to find out how to heal this, <laughs> make sure it comes from a trusted source. So I, I know I've said this before, but I keep seeing it over and over. And I do have people tag me in these little comments that they see a lot so I can come in and answer them. But I just don't want to bombard everybody with, no, don't do this, don't do this. And I don't want to offend people. So I'm telling you, and if you know other moms, just get the word out too. <laughs> Let's help each other. So the other number two, is they think that there's just one magic exercise. So I get emails all the time saying, um, what exercise can I do to fix this? So again, there's no magic exercise, okay? Not one exercise is gonna heal your diastasis, okay? This is a whole body issue, and your diastasis was created from an intra-abdominal pressure, okay? Yes, it may have come out during pregnancy, but chances are that you already had this issue going on and then you got pregnant and this issue got exasperated, okay? And that comes from malalignment, how, how you are, are in wrong alignment, it's with your breathing patterns. You know, they, they, need, they need to be correct. You've gotta to learn to breathe correctly. You've gotta to learn to be in alignment correctly. Um, 
and you have to learn how to incorporate workouts that will actually start that will promote the healing along with your alignment and along with your breathing and there may be some other issues going on with you um, that may be a little bit deeper than that okay so it's never just one magic exercise so don't think that and I wish and I always tell everybody I wish that there was just one magic exercise but that's just not how it is when you have to heal this because you know so many moms will be like I'm working out I'm working out and I'm seeing um, improvement in all of my body but not in the tummy area and so they're just thinking if I can just continue working out hard and hard and hard this is gonna work and it's not gonna work it's not it's going to make it worse so you have to be cautious with that okay like I said this is a real issue and you have to know how to go about healing it so number three is I see them working out or running like they used to okay so I see two types of women okay either they completely give up working out altogether because they don't know what to do anymore they don't know what's safe what's not safe and they're scared to work out or I see women are like just fooey with it I'm just gonna continue just working out as hard as I can and I'm just gonna ignore this area okay um, so that's what I see so you've got to learn um, like for instance if you're doing pull-ups and planks and sit-ups and crunches and you're lifting heavy or maybe you're doing yoga and Pilates and you're not knowing how to do all this correctly that's when you can come in and harm you now don't be scared and don't be like well ugh, you just listed the only things you could do to work out just know that you the goal is to get you back there but you have to step back and learn the basics before you can do some of those things you've got to work on some of the healing so um, you have to learn proper form and I like to tell people think function over fitness it's gonna help you in the long run it's gonna help you later in the long run even I tell people this all the time when you learn correct alignment and breathing it can even help other body pains aches and pains in your body and also help you as you age so you don't break down as easily as easily okay um, all right so you need to learn how to work out correctly okay here's the and and in that is they think okay well I can just wear a binder or a wrap okay and then they think I'll just be fine and it's it's protecting everything the problem with that is um, you're letting that do the whole work for you okay you didn't learn proper function you didn't learn proper alignment learn proper breathing you didn't learn how to engage your abs um, even lifting your pelvic floor while you work out so it's not really going to do you any good actually I've seen people who wear splint and binders make it worse so there's two rule there's two different types of people too that help heal women's diastasis so some are in this camp of never wear splint or binders always let the body do the work and there's another one that says wear splint and binders 24 hours a day right after you have your baby for like a you know few weeks or something like that um, yeah, uh, uh, Cassandra said a cosmetic fix is a binder. Okay, so I'm not saying not ever to wear a binder, but the problem is, is you so see you you can get worse if you wear a binder if you don't do it correctly. Okay, um, so you have to know what you're doing with that binder. All right, and you have you don't want it to do all the work for you. However, like Cassandra said, let's say. Um, and, and don't wear a girdle okay so the, a girdle cinches you in the intra-abdominal pressure that created all this anyways and see that pressure goes into a diastasis it can go into a pelvic organ prolapse a hernia back aches hiatal hernias um, all kinds of areas that pressure it's built up so it goes somewhere so once you get an alignment correctly and breathing correctly you kind of release that pressure okay so um, if you wear a girdle that's going to send you up and create pressure you want a binder or a splint there's also some compression shorts that you can wear that's kind of a fit it gives you a gentle belly hug that's what you want you don't want a girdle so if you want to go out or something like that and dress nice you know wear your binder it's going to help you feel better um, until you start maybe losing weight or getting this healed up okay 
Okay, so that was number three. Number four, and some of these are going to seem like they kind of go together, but um, is ignoring correct alignment and breathing and only doing diastasis as safe workout. So I put these in here for even some of my women who have started the healing process and then they just, they go, okay, I've got this. And then they ignore alignment and they ignore breathing and they just do the exercises. So I always tell people, pretend like, sorry, my mouth's dry today, I need some water. <laughs> that like your jeans, they have a zipper, right? So if you're hunched over, the zipper would be open, okay? And if you are sitting all day in wrong alignment, okay, if you're flared or you're hunched over, your pelvic floor is tucked under, that intra-abdominal pressure is still there. So you're not doing any good. As a matter of fact, it can harm you. It can harm some of the good that you're doing. It can make your healing process take longer, okay? So when I first created my program, I like to tell people this, I only did alignment and breathing with my clients and they started seeing results. No exercises, just alignment and breathing, okay? Uh, breathing homework, breathing correctly, and alignment. That's it. Then I started adding in workouts that can promote healing, even another wrapping exercise that, that they do that can get them their healing a little bit more quickly. However, if they just ignore that breathing and alignment, that's the basics. That's the foundation. And you want it to become a habit. You're um, learning to do new habits. So again, this is whole body issue. And you're just going back, always go back to the basics, okay? Alignment and breathing, alignment and breathing. <laughs> Don't ignore those. So I hope this is a good reminder for some of you who have already uh, been working on the healing. Okay, so in number five, it is going back too soon with regular exercise. Now, this may seem kind of the same that what I was saying, but what I'm talking about here is, okay, you think you're healed up enough, and now you're going to go and do all those planks that you used to do. You're going to go do all the sprinting that you used to do, all the pull-ups and the heavy lifting that you used to do, and you really weren't ready yet. Okay. Um, what this, is, what you have to learn is you've got to make sure that you've learned how to correct work out correctly. That you do know how to blow before you go. Uh, you breathe out. <sighs> engage your TVA, lift your pelvic floor. You need to know how to lift those weights correctly and make sure that you can protect yourself correctly. Make sure that your linea alba tissue has gotten firm, okay? Because if it hasn't, you may not be ready to go into the regular exercises, but honestly, there's so many exercises you can do that you can be fit and healthy even while you are healing it. So I don't want you to think, I can never, ever, ever, you know, work out or do the things I love. No, you, what you have to do here is you have to learn to break the old habits, okay, and put in new habits that are going to be lifestyle changes and continue and be consistent with those. And sometimes it's hard for, I know, women to break these habits and think, oh gosh, do I have to really work on alignment today? I'm so tired. I just want to go, you know, slouch on the couch. Or, and I'm not saying that you can't ever do those things, but you just need that um, abdominal pressure to be released. And the more that you do these things, the more it becomes a habit because you're breaking years of habits, okay? This is years. So it doesn't happen overnight. So, like I said, I'm so sorry my mouth is so dry. Um, let me see what else I put on here. <laughs> okay, so you just want to um, listen to your body. <laughs> Learn to listen to your body and assess your body. And sometimes you need extra help with that. Sometimes you need guidance with that because you're not sure. Maybe you don't know how to be in correct alignment. Maybe there's some other issues going on with you. You may have hernias. You may have some prolapse, more pelvic pain than usual. So you need some guidance with that. And that's why I did create the program that I've created. So um, those are my five steps. But if you do need some extra guidance and you need some clarity on your issue, go ahead and book a call with me or my team and we can see if we're a good fit to work with you and you're a good fit to work with us. And you can book a call at oliviacagle.com 
forward slash apply, A-P-P-L-Y. I'll also put that link in the description. And, you know, this call is all about you seeing where you are, how you're doing. Because, you know, I've had a call with a couple of ladies this week, and one is going into planks too soon, and one is actually doing jumping. Okay, she's doing, um, I don't want to say the workout, but they're jumping, <laughs> okay? And that jumping um, and those kinds of things can actually harm you pretty bad. It's, it's this pressure coming down on your pelvic floor, okay? And you aren't ready to do that yet. A lot of you are not ready to do that. So I just realized that blow before I go and hold up TVA muscles when I run up and down the stairs with my toddler. Okay, totally a habit now. So Cassandra's made that a habit. So that's what your body needs to automatically do these things. Instead of thinking, okay, I've got to live my pelvic floor, engage my TVA, I've got to do this. So the goal is, is to get you doing those things normally, okay? So again, there's not one magic exercise. And breathing and alignment, they're great. Like, they're the basics. But some of you have other issues. Maybe you have some hip pain going on, okay? And that can affect your healing. Um, just pelvic pain, lower back pain. It's... Our core is our foundation, and it's got to get strong, but there's a lot of things that, oh, good, Karen, I'm so glad that's a habit for you, too. Um, there are things going on that you really need to work on. So this is just more than cosmetic, and this is more than um, just one magic exercise. So, you know, comment below if you have any questions and I can answer those on another live video that I do or book a call with me. I'd love to chat with you just to see where you are and see if, you know, you want to work with me and my team to help heal you. My team consists of me and I'm a um, prenatal, postnatal corrective exercise specialist. My name's Olivia Cagle for those of you that don't know me. I have a pelvic floor physical therapist that's on my team and a nutritionist that also can help you with bloating. Um, bloating is huge for women who have um, diastasis. If you didn't see the video that I did um, with my pelvic floor physical therapist, scroll down on my Facebook page and go look for that or go into my Fit Fabulous Moms Club group and look for that because she does kind of talk about some gut health. Next week, my nutritionist and I, we're gonna hop on a call uh, live video and we're going to be talking about gut health and how it can hinder your diastasis and how come you need to get it healthy okay and just some tips so you don't miss that I'll let you know and send it out to you as well okay so again if you have any questions let me know and I do see some people saying some things here I'm running up and down the stairs because she's potty training and when she has to go she has to go instead of like yep <laughs> you can't wait with those toddlers so all right ladies um i think that's all i was going to tell you but you know print off this download this so you have it it's all written down what i just said um have the link there you know it's just a free little thing for you to have and you can print it out like i said okay and um i will talk to y'all next week for sure Okay, bye.